hate celery. I used to think <laughs> celery had no flavor. But something happened in the past few years. I don't know if it's something that happens. You turn, you like big, gaudy jewelry, bright lipstick, and celery. I don't know if it's an age definer. That's looking good. Look at this, beautiful. Oh, and they're so crisp. You can hear it when I stir them in the pot. I love it when fried food sings. Today, I'm going to attempt to settle an age-old question once and for all. What exactly is the difference between dressing and stuffing? You know, I can walk and chew gum at the same time, too. <laughs> Four pickles per sandwich. These are dill pickle chips. Don't come at me with this bread and butter pickle action here. It's like a chocolate chip cookie in the best possible sense. It's crisp on the outside, tender inside. It's delicious. OK, this is what I'm talking about. The whole kitten caboodle here, the peel, the interior, the whole clementine. This is some liquid sunshine right here. Supermarket broths and stocks are very convenient, but frankly, almost all of the options are terrible. I serve almost everything with lemon wedges, but you just get a nice little spritz of freshness at the end. It takes something from like, this is really good, to like, oh yeah, this is great. Popcorn chicken was one of the many fast food inventions dreamed up by Eugene Gagliardi, Jr. There is going to come a time when every cook meets their grater. And I want to make sure that when your time comes, you meet the right one. That cheese smell is amazing. Now, that is a looker. That is bacon wrapped done right. Now, can we just take a moment to appreciate the Iowa Skinny and all of its beautiful fried pork tenderloin goodness? I love potato salad. I do, I love potato salad, but this potato salad recipe is different. From Cook's Country, Texas potato pancakes. From Cook's Country, the fastest recipe for old-fashioned chicken noodle soup. From Cook's Country, crispy vegetable fritters. They're so good. From Cook's Country, one of the great hidden sandwiches of America, the St. Paul sandwich. That's my favorite sandwich.